Paludiculture, the wet agriculture on re-wetted peatland, provides renewable biomass for climate-friendly products while preserving peatlands and the climate. It's both innovative and it supports needed transformations. However, so far only pioneers can do it and it lacks consistent agricultural policies, advisory services and established market structures. So is paludiculture a real option? Farmers and entrepreneurs are skeptical. We invited 50 international stakeholders from 10 different EU countries to Germany, from farmer to decision maker. All are learning from experts and from one another. In Ireland, we can actually reduce a huge amount of the agricultural emissions by peatland restoration. That's very much the same across the EU. In Poland, that the interest of local businesses is to go carbon neutral. So our challenge is to restore and to manage more sustainably the peatlands. Actually in Estonia the peat mining and the usage of peat, although we export most of the mined peat, has also a very big share in our greenhouse gas emissions. The Finnian authorities should put more efforts to spread information about farming in peatlands educating people about the peatlands, what is the impact to climate change. We need a good pilot to show that it, it is really working. We have four peatland pilots in Germany. They are funded by the Federal Ministry of the Environment, which gives about 45 million euro over the next 10 years for polluticulture. But they show that there are actually products you can use and which exist and which can be also utilized. This is jetzt eine Ausbauplatte, die können so im Grunde statt Gipskarton auf ein Ständerwerk aufbringen. Die Oberfläche stellt einen super Putzträger dar. So das Standardprodukt für die Rehdächer, ein, ein Bund Reh. Davon brauchen Sie 3000 solcher Bunde und dann können Sie ein Rehdach raus eindecken. Very warm welcome here in Greifswald at our study trip on peatland restoration and paludiculture. But of course, we also want to get into a discussion, into exchange. We said there are no emissions out of dry peatlands by 2040. And that means that we need to restore about 10,000 hectares per year, which is massive. Our task is to provide a framework that others can do their job properly. Another objective is to take the risk. There are farmers in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern who are willing to make the peatlands wet. Das Gute ist, dass ein Generationswechsel auch so in der Landwirtschaft stattfindet. Also Mit vielen Kollegen bin ich auf jeden Fall nicht einer Meinung. Aber letzten Endes sind wir alle als Landwirte im selben Boot. Und Jahr um Jahr ringen wir um unsere Existenz und es wird schwieriger. Und die, die vor zehn Jahren noch drüber gelacht haben und uns hier als Ökospinne abgetan haben, die haben mittlerweile auch ein offenes Ohr dafür. Ich finde es richtig umzudenken, damit der im Boden gespeicherte Kohlenstoff an Ort und Stelle bleibt. Dann muss auch eine Nutzung dieser Flächen und dieser wirklich schönen Biomasse erfolgen. Und der Rohrkolben kann ganz viel. Letzten Endes geht es darum, dass diese Dämmplatte dann nachher atmungsaktiv sein kann, feuerfest und halt nachwachsender Rohstoff. Die Geschäftsidee ist, dass man das Torfmus anbauen kann und ernten kann und genauso benutzen kann wie Torf in gärtnerischen Erden und Substraten. Also der perfekte Torfersatz was ich mit dem Torf muss verdienen kann. Die eingesparten Emissionen sind etwas wert. Plus die normale Agrarförderung oder vielleicht sogar etwas als Agrarumweltmaßnahme dazu. Dann ist es auf jeden Fall lohnenswert. I came to Germany basically to understand more of what is the best practice. We need an official way of calculating the carbon footprint as well as carbon offset and ecological services that wetlands can provide. We see here in Germany that more futures, it's a good standard, well scientifically backgrounded with the principles, the standard in place. The potential of keeping land wet, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and indeed earning a good income for farmers is I think a win-win-win proposition. This is the only way that there is a balance between the interests of landowners, the climate challenges and that we can preserve and or even accumulate more carbon into the soils makes a lot of challenges and we have to overcome them. Actually, a lot is needed to develop a carbon project or a paludiculture project. Just go further, don't stop, and please share your experience with other farmers. Approaches and pioneers for paludiculture are already out there. Don't hesitate to get into contact and start.